The Israeli troops and the Palestinian protesters clashed on Friday following the funeral of a 20-year-old Palestinian man who was killed by the Israelis the previous day. But the Israeli forces, remember, shot and killed a 20-year-old Shoka Dawar during clashes that erupted in West Bank following the funeral of a Palestinian boy who was killed by the Israeli army's fire on Wednesday. Now, according to the Palestinian Health Ministry, Awad was shot in the head and in the abdomen during Thursday's unrest in Beit Umar, a town near the city of Hebron in Southwest Bank. Now, at least about 250 of the Palestinian protesters were injured on Friday following the action by the Israeli military. Palestinian protesters hurled stones at the Israeli troops who responded with live ammunition. And all of this happened during a funeral march, which the Israeli troops said uh, was more responded to with riot dispersal means and rounds of gunfire. Now, most of those who were injured on Friday needed treatment for tear gas inhalation, while several Palestinians were injured by live fire and rubber bullets. The heaviest clashes were in Bieta village near Nablus in the western in West Bank, where residents have held a regular protest against the Israeli occupation since the month of May. Now, the Israeli military has confirmed that it used live ammunition against the protesters during the demonstration. Earlier, the Israeli ministry had said that it had launched an investigation to probe into Wednesday's deadly shooting, which resulted in the death of one Palestinian boy.